Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is our uh, fifth meditation in a 12-month series, 12 chakra series, inspired by Alana and Lenchikova's drawings. My name is Brad Walrod, and we hold these live in the Become What You Believe group on Facebook, and then upload them to YouTube afterwards. Uh, each month, we're having a special guest who is uh, gifting us with a beautiful channeling from an archangel. And this month, we uh, our bus, we have Susan Goodman here and uh, Archangel Uriel. Hi, Susan. Hi, how are you doing? Good, good. Uh, Susan, I, I, I actually uh, made sure to have this in front of me so I wouldn't forget all the details. She's uh, uh, She has services including angel energy healings, past life regression, soul retrieval, and various readings and coachings. She's been a member of the Become What You Leave group for over three years. I went ahead and looked it up just in case. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and so it we're just it's just wonderful to be having these uh, kind of tag team things. I'll be talking for a couple of minutes and then we'll get started. And this couple of minutes includes this introduction. Also, the format is that we will um, revisit our sacred spaces, something we've created as we've gone along this year. And we're, we, you know, each month we try to add a little bit, another sense or another uh, insight to our sacred spaces. You can always change what your sacred space is any time each month, or just keep building on the one you cr created back in January or February. Um, and then uh, I will uh, try to <laughs> get the singing bowl to sing, which sings really well when I'm not on camera. I might want to just say that right now. But we'll see if I can get it to go on camera as nice as I can do it off camera. And then um, what we'll do is we'll go, our, go through our, our light pillar. We'll establish our light pillar. And um, then when we return to going through each chakra of the 12 in the series, and then when we return down to the Hara chakra, which is our focus this month, I'll be handing it over to Susan. Okay. So um, let's see. I'll be it's, handing it over to Archangel. Uriel. And she'll be handing it over to Archangel. <laughs> <laughs> and who knows if he's going to hand it over to her. She, he or she's going to hand it over to anybody. But. <laughs> she may well. <laughs> she, okay. I, I have a um, suspicion. Okay. Um, we are, um, the name of this particular meditation is Waving Arati and the Hara Chakra. And, and people are wondering perhaps what Arati is. And that's a devotional waving of lights. So I'm lighting a candle here. And uh, it's actually, the, whole, the full holder has a nice carving of Kuan Yin. But it's easier to pick up just this part of it. Let's see, I'll show that again. And um, what we're going to do, let me show you what waving RT looks like now so that we can relax and keep our eyes closed once we get the meditation going. And we're going to just keep it nice and simple. And you're going to be imagining this. If you have your own candle, if you have your own incense, you can be doing this live also. But you can also just, you know, do it in your head, imagining it. And we're going to keep it simple. We're going to do a left. Now, this is a mirror image on Facebook. But to your left, to your right. And then to your left, all the way around. I better do a smaller circle so it doesn't get cut off there. Left, right, and then all the way around. And so we'll do that one pass like that for each chakra as we're going through the 12. And that's do it with devotion. <laughs> <laughs> you saw that I blew it out there. <laughs> um, do it with devotion. That's the whole point of RIT is you're, you're, you're revering what you are waving the light in front of and um you know if you have a puja which might have uh, your crystals or archangel uh statues or picture of a guru you would wave rt with feeling that love and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to turn that back on ourselves we're going to be doing that waving of rt in front of each of our 12 chakras and feeling the devotion to what they mean to us Okay, great. Now, um, I think I'm ready to have everybody close their eyes. Go ahead and get comfortable. I'll take my glasses off. And uh, take in a couple of comfortable breaths in through your nose, out through your nose or mouth, whatever you're 
preferences. Gently push your shoulders back and lower them a little bit just to relieve any tension around your neck and open up your chest. And we're going to return now to our sacred spaces. Starting, let me start with describing mine so you get a sense of the details that we're trying to incorporate. Mine is a, a, a porch, a covered porch on a country house in a rocking chair with a cushion underneath and up along my back that I can just melt into. Feels like I'm being hugged all around. And it's a warm day with a cool breeze. And I'm hearing the rustling of the leaves, the tree just outside the porch, hearing birds yakking to each other up on the limbs. And this month we're gonna bring in the sense of smell. So for me, I'm going to smell lilacs. The lilac trees near the porch are in bloom right now. And I'm gonna smell that. I'm gonna imagine that smell and incorporate that into my sacred space. Now your sacred space may be a library with a roaring fire and the smell of the fire, but also perhaps old leather bound books. You may hear the crackling fire or birds chirping from outside coming in through the windows. Or yours might be a beach, which might have a bonfire, but you also may be hearing the lapping of the waves and really smelling that salty air or you may be in a forest, smelling that loamy soil, hearing those leaves rustling. Really invest a few moments now in experiencing your sacred space to its fullest. you are, picture the lighting of a candle or even a stick of incense. You light the incense and then blow it out. Watch the smoke start rising. And give that a nice smell. How's that smell? Is it a champa, a sandalwood, amber, silver lotus, musk? Just really bring that smell into all the other smells you've already envisioned for your sacred space. And now from wherever you're sitting or lying or standing or floating, bring your attention to your belly, the Hara Chakra. Actually picture your candle or your incense sitting straight up, standing straight up in your belly. And now extend the base of the candle or the, the end of the stick of incense down through your lower body chakras, out the bottom, down through your cushion or chair or the sand or the leaves into the earth. And just keep extending it down, down, down through all the dirt and the rocks. So you reach the center of the earth, the heart of Mother Gaia. And 
let that base or bottom right into some dirt down there pack that dirt around it maybe pile some rocks on top so you're nice and grounded and firm and just loved Now follow the flame or the smoke from the candle or the incense back up through Gaia, back up through the earth until just below your body when you reach the earth star chakra. And now we will begin our arati, our devotional waving. Remember facing the chakra going left and right then left all the way around in a circle. And each time we do this with each chakra, try a little harder, a little more to really feel what you do feel, whatever comes natural to you about that chakra, that love, the devotion, reverence, moving up to between our knees is the link chakra left, right, left all the way around. It's a little harder sometimes with the transpersonal, the out of body chakras, but now we're gonna move up into the base or root chakra. And you can feel these a little more because they're part of your body. Again, the candle or the incense left, right, left all the way around. Further up into the sacral, wave your candle or your incense. And then up into the Hara, where we'll be spending some more time in a few minutes. Left, right, all the way around in a circle. Hmm. Up from the Hara, we get to the solar plexus, where we'll be spending more time with Archangel Gabriel in a month on the solstice. But for now, left, right, left all the way around in a circle, and then the heart. Wave RT to your heart, showing your devotion, your love, your reverence. Halfway between the heart and the throat, the high heart. Wave our tea. And then up to the throat. Straight up from the throat into the middle of your brain, your third eye. Left, right left all the way around and then the crown straight up from there wave RT and then one more chakra for the series above the crown the soul star chakra left right left all the way around. And from the soul star, continue to follow the candle flame or the incense smoke straight up from there through the ceiling or the leaves or the clouds all the way up through the sky through the atmosphere as far up as you can imagine, 
until we come in contact with source itself. And let's wave RT one more time up there. Left, right, left all the way around. Maybe give it a little extra bow here. And now feeling all of that energy, the bliss of this devotional exercise, this float, float down from source, down through the sky, where we touch upon the soul star and the crown, the third eye and the throat, the high heart and the heart, the solar plexus, and we come to rest at the Hara while we watch our smoke or flame continue down to the sacral, the base, the link, and the earth star. And as we rest in the Hara or belly chakra, we invite Susan to come in with Archangel Uriel. Here, indeed, angels of the light. And I, Archangel Uriel, carry this message to you through this chant. We are honored that you would choose to spend this time with us. This is indeed a challenging time for humanity, and we are recognizing, we see what you bring in this love, this love space that you carry for our Divine Mother. We who have walked many, many times before you on this earth, come forward now to tell you, walk upon the earth. Send your love deep into the ground. Note and see the love that is returning to you. Too many are focused on what is being lost in this difficult challenge. Focus on what this challenge is gaining you. What are you receiving? The space that you receive to sit, the time that you receive to spend with your families, to spend walking upon the earth, to spend with the divine. That which you receive from this challenge is what will assist you in overcoming it. It is not in the loss that you will find yourselves. It is in the receiving. It is in the knowing. The knowing that all of you are working towards a new level of light. And all of you have called this level of light forward. This is not a time for mourning, complaining, or painting. This is a time for uplifting, a time to bring that love forward and to ground it down into the earth. This love is coming from above. Look not above you, but below you to recognize the change that is being brought forth. Become now as angels of the light. I invite my sister, Fanny L, to step forward to bring to you a message of forgiveness. It is a time for letting go of past lives. It is a time for letting go of past challenges. It is a time for letting go, using forgiveness to release all that is no longer serving you, it will serve you in the future. It will serve you in moving forward and it will serve humanity in being lifted into one light, one light which you all are, 
and one light which you all shall ever be. We are complete. Let's meditate together with just the music for a while.
filling your sacred spaces, feeling that devotion, love, and reverence. Express your gratitude if desired for the archangels and channelers that have blessed us throughout this series, starting with Archangel Sandalphon, Archangel Haniel and Grethel, Archangel Ragel and Tammy, Archangel Chamuel and Vina, Archangel Uriel and Hanyao again with Susan. And next month, Archangel Gabriel with Lena. Bring your attention back to your Hara Chakra in the belly. And now three times, breathing in and up to source. And out and down to Gaia. And in and up to source. Out and down to Gaia. In and up to source. And down and out to Gaia. Centering back in your body, fully returning from your sacred spaces. With all my love, always. Namaste.